morning friends uh today is the first day back to school for the kids here at fishers and so i thought i would read strawberry shortcake goes to school we're gonna go back to the building today today is the first day of school strawberry shortcake told her pets custard and pupcake I'm very excited. I can't wait to see my classroom and meet the kids in my class. What should I wear to school? Strawberry wondered aloud. How should I know? Custard grumbly, grumbled sleepily. Cats don't go to school. Oh, Custard, you're just silly. Strawberry giggled. I know, I will wear my favorite jeans and my striped shirt and I'll bring a red sweatshirt. Strawberry quickly got dressed and then she packed her backpack. I think I'll bring a pencil and paper and my box of crayons for coloring, she said. I'll bring my lunch to school and my brand new lunch box, Strawberry told Custard and Pupcake. Strawberry made a peanut butter and strawberry jelly sandwich. She packed a bag full of strawberries and she wrapped up two strawberry chip cookies and then she placed a box of strawberry juice in her lunch box. Yum! Strawberry Shortcake looked at the clock. Oh no, school starts in 10 minutes. I'd better hurry up or I'll be late. She grabbed her backpack and dashed out the door. Goodbye, Custard and Pupcake. I'll be back after school, okay? I wish we could come with you, said Custard. I'll be back before you know it. I promise, Strawberry said. Strawberry walked quickly. Finally, she saw her school. Wow, it looks so big, she thought to herself. Who will I play with? Who will I sit with at lunch? Strawberry felt a little scared. Strawberry was glad to see her friends at school. Hi, Orange Blossom and Huckleberry Pie. Hello, Angel Cake. I'm glad to see you, Ginger Snap, she called. I thought I wouldn't know any kids in my class. We're glad to see you too, Strawberry, her friends answered. Strawberry, everyone in class has their own cubby, said Huckleberry Pie excitedly. Very cool, Strawberry replied. She found her cubby and put her backpack and sweatshirt inside. Come on, Strawberry, said Huck. Put your lunch away and come sit next to me. My lunch? Uh-oh, where's my lunchbox? Strawberry wondered. It wasn't in her backpack. It wasn't under her sweatshirt. It wasn't on the floor. Oh no, I left my lunch at home. What would Strawberry do? There wasn't enough time for her to go home to get her lunch. School had already started. And when the kids sang the alphabet song, Strawberry didn't sing loud like, every, like everybody else. She didn't feel like it. She was sad about her lunch. Oh, I'm already hungry. What will I do when it's lunchtime? I have nothing to eat, she wondered. Next, it was time for counting. The kids counted their numbers from one to 10, but Strawberry didn't want to count her numbers. She was still worried about lunchtime. At lunchtime, all the kids rushed to their cubbies, but not Strawberry. I made a peanut butter and huckleberry jam sandwich. I can't wait to eat it, Huck told his friends. I made special cookies in the shape of crayons, exclaimed Ginger Snap. What did you bring, Strawberry? asked Orange Blossom. Nothing, Strawberry told her friends sadly. I forgot my lunch at home. She began to cry. Don't cry, Strawberry Shortcake, Orange Blossom said. But what will I eat for lunch? asked Strawberry Shortcake sadly. Angel Cake had an idea. Strawberry, you can have some of my lunch if you want. I'll share my lunch with you too, offered Orange Blossom. Me too, said Ginger Snap. Well, that's very nice of you. What very kind friends you are, Strawberry Shortcake said. Ginger Snap gave Strawberry Shortcake a delicious crayon-shaped cookie decorated with frosting and sparkly sprinkles. 
Orange Blossom poured some orange juice into a cup for strawberry. And Angel Cake gave Strawberry Shortcake a tiny strawberry shortcake with lots of whipped cream. Yum! Strawberry Shortcake is Strawberry Shortcake's favorite dessert. Huck, what do you have? asked Ginger Snap. Oh, well, I only have one sandwich, Huck replied quietly, and I want to eat it. But Huck, sharing doesn't mean that you have to give away all of your sandwich, just part of it. When friends share, everyone gets something, explained Orange Blossom. Huck thought for a minute, and then he broke his sandwich in half and gave it to Strawberry. Here you go, Strawberry. I hope you like Huckleberry Jam. Thanks, Huck. Thanks, everybody. This lunch is delicious. Just then, Custard and Pupcake arrived. Strawberry, you left your lunch at home. You were so worried that you wouldn't have anything to eat. Custard said excitedly, barely taking a breath. Pupcake wagged his tail. Wow, thank you, Custard and Pupcake. Now I can share the lunch that I made with everyone. Strawberry exclaimed. But when Strawberry opened her lunchbox, it was empty. You silly dog, shouted Custard. I told you to carry Strawberry's lunch, not eat it. It's okay, Pupcake. Lucky for me, my very best friends shared their lunches, Strawberry told her dog. After lunch, it was time for recess. Strawberry and her friends had lots of fun on the playground. After recess, Custard and Pupcake headed home and the kids went back inside the classroom. They were tired after so much running around and luckily it was rest time. First day of school was over and it was time to go home. It had been a great day. School is very cool. See you tomorrow, everybody. And I promise I won't forget my lunch. The end. That's a very fun school. Don't you wish you still had nap time? Don't forget your lunch, friends. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.